Welcome back. We're giving you a live look at the debate stage in Atlanta this morning. We're just about 14 hours away from the first presidential debate, and it'll be the first time we see President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump on the debate stage together since 2020. It'll be a different format this time. Joining us now with more on what we can expect this evening is SMU Law Professor Eric Cedillo. And Eric, thank you for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Well, let's start off with talking about how the format of this debate is something that is going to be quite different than what viewers are used to. Right, exactly. A couple of big things, of course, the, uh, the mic muting, not having the ability to speak over uh, the other person talking. I think it'll be a, a big deal, a big uh, winning point for President Biden. He won't have to kind of deal with uh, the interjection. He'll be allowed to kind of talk about uh, policy and and not be concerned with being overwhelmed by uh, uh, Donald Trump and, and what he's saying. In addition to that, of course, the, the uh, no audience. I think that bodes well for President Biden as well. Less distraction, less opportunity for uh, uh, people in the audience to kind of uh, hype up what Donald Trump might be saying. So I think these two points are huge for uh, President Biden. I think it'll, it'll help him in a lot of ways. The, the length of the debate, the 90 minutes, I think there will be an opportunity uh, for us to see if, uh, if, of course, both candidates who, you know, one is, is close to 80 and one's over 80, uh, have, the, have the legs kind of continue through and, and get out their talking points and say everything they need, they need to say in a 90-minute uh, conversation. Now, Eric, do you think the rules of the debate, like we just showed you, mic muting benefits one candidate over the other, do you see any way this debate doesn't happen tonight, maybe? I don't think so. I think it's too late in that process. If, if anybody, there may, be a, may have been some speculation on, uh, from Donald Trump that uh, allegations of drug use by, by uh, President Biden, but I think those things have kind of fallen by the wayside. He made the same allegations against Hillary Clinton back in 16 and, of course, against President Biden in 2020. So I don't think those are realistic in terms of there being the opportunity to kind of say this isn't going to go forward. And plus, if, if uh, Donald Trump were to back out at this point, I think that would make him look you know, relatively weak in terms of uh, his presentation. So I don't think that's going to happen. I think the, the uh, debate's going to go on. It's going to be a situation wherein, you know, the things kind of the new rules side with President Biden in terms of uh, how this is presented. Real quickly, Eric, I know we have our poll up this morning about will this debate change your mind? And that the start of the day was at 100 percent. Do you really see this as an opportunity for either candidate to sway people? I don't think so. I think more than anything else is debate. We, we kind of know the, uh, the presentations. We, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy thing. It's been over 130 years since we've had the, the back to back in terms of one uh, presidential administration to the next. And we're seeing that in this context. So we know who Donald Trump is. We know who President Biden is. We've seen where they are. I don't think anybody's going to change their mind in the single debate. I think less uh, a question of what substantively what they're saying as opposed to uh, how they say it is what people are going to be tuning into. Uh, I think they're going to be trying to placate the, uh, you know, the folks who are those states that may be up in the air, those seven states that may be swing states. I think that'll be more of the concentration tonight and then the uh, subsequent debates that occur. Thank you to SMU law professor Eric Cedillo. We appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Make sure you join us for our continuing coverage of tonight's debate with our political team. Expert analysis breaking down how these policies discussed can impact life here in North Texas. You see him right there, our senior political reporter Jason Whiteley and his Yolitics co-host Jason Wheeler providing some context on what both candidates have to say. Our coverage this evening kicks off at 4. You can stream it on WFAA Plus through Roku, Amazon Fire and Apple TV.